Okay, girls, I have a special treat for you, Mr. Michael Griffiths. Uh, Michael, where are we? We are in Porthcawl at the harbour. And when was the first time I saw you at Porthcawl at the harbour? Well, that was a few weeks ago when we did a No, walk. you useless bum. It was when we came by boats. Oh, yes. I forgot all about that. Come on. That memorable day, you mean, when we went to see the Super Swans play and you and Mr. Eccles came to pick me up from the harbour. Yeah, it was a great adventure. And we also came over by plane. How does that happen? Well, that was Mr. Eccles' birthday. Yes. And uh, we were invited along with him. Yes. And all I can remember is you on my lap taking you photographs. Had the best, you had the best seat. I, how, 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 how <laughs> but you were the best photographs. Okay, so now we are doing, what's the route we're doing now? Porth Call to, to Port Talbot. Port, Port Talbot. So we're doing it almost in reverse order because we did this bit the other day. So this is from Porth Call to Fourth call to Rest Bay. And who, what famous person lives in Rest Bay? Uh, oh, you mean me? Yes, you moved about three months ago, didn't you? Uh, eight months, to be Yeah, honest. right by the sea, that's fantastic. So describe the walk from what you go past from Porth Call to a rest bay. Well, lots of little coves on we'll the way. I'll show you this little harbour behind us. Lots of little, little coves on the way, yes. uh, headlands, lots yes. of rocky bits, and lovely views, rough sea, smooth sea, sun, sand, what more do you want? Yeah, there's a great water at Porth Call. There's some nice old buildings as well as some modern buildings. Oh, the Jennings building behind. Yeah, and you took me along the cliff path rather than along the road. That's right. That was fantastic, that was. It was beautiful views across. And then Rest Bay, they're obviously spending a lot of money, aren't they? Because you had... Uh, the Surf uh, Centre. The Surf Centre. And Porth Gall's got a lot of money. This, this harbour's had a lot of money spent on it. Yes, and they've done up the Jennings buildings, so you can have food there now. You've got Pizza Hut and you've got the restaurant there. So yes, it is looking a lot better. So you get around to Rest Bay and that's now facing west. So that's getting all the waves and all the surfers. And then that was the end of that one. And then then the next stage that we did was... With Mel and Cole. And yes. we walked as far as Pink Bay. Yes, yeah, so rest. On the boat. And I think that was the first time Cole and Mel had met. Yes. And it was a fantastic day. What do you remember about that day? It was a great day. Lots of eats on the way. Uh, we went past Porth Call, Royal Porth Call uh, Golf Club. Yes. And, no, and also the, the big rest place. What's oh, that called? Oh, you mean Scare House. I, I, no, that was further on. Scare, no. painted yellow, just to say that Gwen Scare is a month older than my mum at 96. And also, they've done a lot of work walk, walk, work on that Broadway walk, haven't they? Oh, yes, part of the Welsh Coastal Park. So that was absolutely fantastic. Past the old rest, which is now no longer a home for old people but uh, apartments apparently. And then right at the end, we got down to this magnificent beach. What's that called? Pink Bay. And my mum used to go down there as a little girl on a horse and trap down to Pink Bay. And it, you can see right the way along to the, uh, to the steelworks in the distance. So that was the second one. And then the third one, do you remember the third one? Yes, I remember the third one. We got... took the car down to Kenvik Pool. Yes. We eventually found our way through the sand. That was hard work, wasn't it? It was hard work. But we found the beach eventually. And then we headed east then back to the part we just left, yes. Big Bay. Yes. And we completed another part of the trail. Yeah, and it's unbelievable how big that beach is, isn't it? It's very big, uh, yes. It's, it's as big as, Swans, as, as what I call Swansea Bay. Of course, it is Swansea Bay, isn't it? The whole, it's part of it. The whole thing is Swansea bay so that was that was just you and me Michael it was a very romantic walk and then it was ruined in the final walk who came with us oh Mr Eccles joined us can you remember where we started yes we started uh, at the railway track with those people who were unfortunately killed yes that and was sad they were from your hometown then yeah they're they? from Kendrick Hill and we walked down to the beach and then we headed west and we went past the steelworks I down thought it was, as far as the breakwater. That was unbelievably dramatic because on your left hand side you've got this beautiful, beautiful beach. See, and then every now and then there'd be a huge kind of explosion and all the uh, all the steelworks would burst into smoke yeah. and steam and belching. Just look left, don't look right. Yeah, and can you remember how far we got? We walked all the way down to the breakwater, down as far as the river, because the next part then would be Aberavon. Yeah, so we, we had to cheat a little bit because we can't go to the docks. But we, we got as far as the bridge water and, and then walked away all the way back to where we'd uh, finished the time before. Mm -hmm. So that was Porth Call to Port Talbot. And I think it kind of almost shows the, the amazing range of the coastal path. It's a heavy, heavy industry mm -hmm. and beautiful beaches and, yeah, beaches the other side. and harbours. Yeah. There's a, right, so that was very good. So Mike, what are we going to do today? Today, we're going to leave Porth Call. We're going to head east 
and walk through Sandy Bay, through Treacle Bay, all the way down to the River Ogmo yes. and end up either at Merthyr Mawr or if we can cross the river, we'll end up at Ogmo Castle okay. crossing the stepping stones. Very good. Now, could you say goodbye to all your lady fans, please? <laughs> goodbye, both. <laughs> goodbye, both. Bye bye. <laughs> Just to finish off with, a couple of pictures from the 70s. First of all, my mum with Auntie Nancy at Fourth Court at Rest Bay, because that's where Auntie Nancy lived. She was great. And then secondly, a picture of my motorway, the motorway I worked on in 76 and 77. We used to cycle from Swansea uh, 12 miles, work 12 hours a day, and cycle back seven days a week. Made loads of money, and you can see the old paddy wagons roaring along there. Good days.